Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our final contest on our undercard this evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Bantam weight division. Over to your referee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, another amateur bantamweight contest. Zalami Azami fighting out of the blue corner representing Shootan MMA. He's in the black Eric shorts with the red and white trim as he takes on the debuting Tala Jamil from Fearless MMA in the black and gray camo. That come out swinging. Good Lord, and straight, straight away ducks under this Tala Jamil and looks to secure the takedown, but a beautiful scramble from Zalami Azami. He's not going to give that position up without a fight. Yeah, nice work then from, uh, from Azami just to, to scramble and deny the takedown of Jamil. But Jamil looks like he's doing a better job of getting this takedown. He needs to pull the legs away before yeah, beautiful Azami work gets from back to his feet. Back to his... Ooh, Trying to just rip his man down. Yeah, it looked like he went for the old belly-to-belly uh, -belly suplex there. But look, a beautiful scramble. And Sal Jamil manages to get top position, but Azami closes up the guard and then closes. Looks like he was th threatening the triangle from there. Yeah, yeah, and he's just... Uh just opened it back up there from that uh, from that body triangle from the bottom position. I mean, it's a, there's not really anything offensive you can do from that that bottom yeah, position. Just but beautiful hold your sweep man close there. To him. Beautiful sweep. Just got that one butterfly and. and but Jamil, use the, yeah, uses the, the cage well. Get flies back up and they exchange knees up the middle now. Real and high pace fight here so far. Both guys debuting. And lots of energy being said, lots of pushing and pulling here. Under the hips now, trying to get that, gets up. Got to watch the next. He's going to take him down. over. Oh, oh. got to watch that arm. That arm was nasty up against the fence. Got to be careful. The back now. Yeah, got to be careful uh, posting on that arm when you've got a big slam like that. Well, manages to get straight back up to his feet. Does the fearless MMA man, but being pressured against the cage. Heavily by his oh. Is that a flying triangle? Yeah, jump for the triangle there. Been watching a little bit of young Paddy Pimblet, methinks. Oh, he's looking at. He's got the arm in there as well, I think. No. He's looking for the arm bar now. Belly Beautiful down. Beautiful work here from Jamil. Great work from Zemi, though, surviving yeah, he's defending this really here. Well, just piling that pressure into the his head and the chest. Looking to try. Oh, clamping down on that triangle now. Yeah, nasty position. And he's a pull down on that head, does Jamil. Yeah, he's got a pull for all he's worth. Is it just, is he just a little too stuffed up? Yeah, it's a great position up against the fence here to try and. Uh, to try and get that. You can Still see a, a gap. tiny yeah, bit of gap. Yeah, the good work from the cameraman there. You can just see the space. It's got to close that off. Yeah, and he, he's, only he's 10 gonna... seconds. Oh, he manages to, but only 10 seconds left. Could be too little, too late here. Yeah, yeah. just. What a round Woo! again. The action here at Fight Star Championship 24 in Birmingham has been non-stop from the first fight to the break here in the, between the first and second round in the tenth fight. It's just been non-stop chaos. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um, the sponsor for this contest, Prominence Estates, going to be more than happy with the <laughs> output of these two athletes over the first round there. Amazing work. I'm looking at our referee in the cage, he's obviously down by the head. Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I, think he's, I think he's worn out as well. He's been putting <laughs> the miles in with these last couple of fights for sure. He kept busy. <laughs> Seconds being cleared. Again, this amateur bantamweight contest, Zalame Azemi. Fighting out of the blue corner, for the Sudan MMA man is wearing the black Eric's shorts trimmed with red and, red and white as he takes on Fearless MMA's debut in Tala Jamil. He's in the black and gray Venom. It's running in with a, oh, it's a running low kick there. Just got to be careful that he, uh, he doesn't get caught with anything. Little stepping jab there. 
Yeah, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more discipline in the second round so far. Yeah, they didn't start, haven't started quite so quickly. <laughs> We've got a break in, uh, in proceedings here. As somebody threw a drone over the cage, they need to just. Uh, it's coming back for more again, I think. It's in the cage again. <laughs> Never seen that in. <laughs> That's my fa that my first. first time in my entire MMA career. The owner career. of the drone, please put it down. Thank you very much. Can we straight away? Can we get that out of here, please? Thank you. Oh, so what happens if someone just grabs it and smashes it? <laughs> Someone's going to be very upset. And <laughs> okay. Maybe don't fly it over the cage. Absolutely. Back to the action here in this uh, this amateur bantamweight contest. 135 pounds. Jamil's having some success with that inside. Yeah, leg that kick. inside leg kick's certainly keeping his Emmy honest. Yeah, but he can't throw it naked like that. He has to. Uh, he has to put it behind a jab or at least faint with something. Oh, Ooh, big right hand. Yeah, this he is. didn't try to disguise what he was intended to do with that right hand. Oh, oh. And gets caught coming in again. Got to be a little more careful as he pace has slowed a little bit from the first. Yeah, this is more of a uh, more of a stand up one. Yeah, uh, stepping knee to the body, front teep there as well. And but he gets caught coming in, does Jamil. Yeah, Jamil again working, uh, working those kicks. Yeah, it's just, Zim is just allowing Jamil to get off first and then get out of range. And I like what we saw from Jamil there, just uh, switching stances, throwing the, uh, the right straight. And oh, then, uh, he got <laughs> tagged, so now he's going to lead with his chin a little bit. Yeah, he looks angry, doesn't he? Uh, Jamil yes. in the... Uh, the team fearless, man. Beautiful again. Oh, little right hand lands off the, off the break there. Got to be careful as Azimi not to uh, not to leave his chin exposed when they when they break. Yeah, it does seem that perhaps that that energy gauge is starting to dwindle. Oh, just, just out of range there. Raise in the facial hair there, Azimi. Louise. That kick again. Who's going to change level first? Heavy low kick. Yeah, he switched his stance here, actually, Zayme. Those kicks have added up. Inside and outside of that left leg are really chewed up. Oh, oh going high. to play. That's what those low kicks open up. If you go low, go low, go low, then that head kick makes himself available eventually. Ten seconds left. Oh, oh. right hand lands. And I think Azami's starting to tie here. Oh! oh. Spinning back kick to the chin. Ain't that did us, Amy. As though it was nothing. But yeah, I, I think these uh, I think these leg kicks are really starting to add up. And Zama Azami, I think his his base has been taken from him, and it's really hard to get any offense on when you can't put any weight down on those on that front lead leg. Just a, a, a huge difference between the two rounds as well. The first was a little more frenetic, a little more in this time. Yeah, grappling exchanges, yeah. wrestling transitions, but this was just a, a right out in the open. Yep. I'd like to see Azami. Um, Jamil, when he when he tends to evade the strikes, he tends to step back yeah, and leaves, leaves the back, chin up. Leaves the chin up. I'd like to see Azami to throw maybe a two, three, four punch combination, stepping in and might be able to catch him on that chin when he uh, when he leans back. But I mean, also maybe time for Azami to start perhaps checking some of those leg kicks coming in. Well, yeah, I mean his leg inside and outside of that left leg are really uh, really red and chewed up. Third and final round here. In another really fun fight here at Fight uh, Star Championship. Matchmaking here at Fight Star Championship has been absolutely amazing. Straight out into the middle of the cage does, comes Tala Jamil. Stabbing front kick to the midsection. Oh, oh big stepping jab there. But he's uh, uh, maybe just... Oh, Ooh. nice response though from the shootout MMA man. Yeah, left hand landed and... I mean, he's not taking a backward step in the slightest, is no. Azami. And neither of these guys, that leg kick again. 
Zemi, he's in the black. Eric Shorts trimmed with white and red. The yellow RDX gloves. Tala Jamil, the fearless man in the black, gray, white camo. Yeah, Zemi, Zemi there, just throwing the one and two strikes again. I'd like to see him add a three and four to it and perhaps catch, uh, catch Jamil as he's leaning back. He do, yeah, does lean back from the waist a little bit. But it's Tala Jamil holding the center of the fighting area at the moment, controlling where this fight takes place. A minute and 55 seconds left for Zemi to change the complexion of this. Yeah, I think Jamil's kicks have been the difference. His, uh, his kicks have opened up his, uh, his boxing and He's been able to use those kicks to, uh, to keep range and distance, using the teeth nicely. Obviously, tune up the legs whenever they get in range. There you go, just threatening the spin and Ooh. nearly slipped over. Yeah, giving, a bit of, giving a bit of range up to the taller Zemi, but it's Jamil that's controlling where the range of where this fight takes place. Oh, lovely body kick there from the, uh, from the southpaw stance. Uh, and digs another front kick straight into the midsection as well. Zemi just yeah. coming, charge, ball rushing in there, looking for a clinch. Pushing it again now, but nice like, work like the Matador. Tala Jamil in on the double. And nice. Zami, I think. I think the gas tank for Yeah, uh, let, him, let him down there a little bit, but still got his back to the cage if he can. No. Jamil. Pulls him down now, flattens his man out a little bit. Got that nice. knee shield, but big shots come. Oh! He's looking for the finish here. He is looking for the finish. 40 seconds to go. Some heavy ground and pound landed in this. Uh, Just needs to clear those legs, get past those legs. Good work for Zemi. Pulls him back in. You figure no harm and just closing up, closing up the guard here. 22 seconds to go, but oh, no. landing on the chin again, and, and it's all over. Enough. That one landed flush Ooh. on the jaw, and yeah, and Dan referee Dan Ravahedi. Discretion is the better part of valor for these amateurs. Good stoppage there, and Tyler Jamil made to work for the win. But yeah. those are the best ones, I would imagine. Absolutely, yeah. Real fun back and forth. I mean, that first round was absolutely wild, oh, absolutely good crazy. Lord. But second round, Jamil started to push on, and third round, as we saw, it was pretty much all Jamil. Landed the takedown with about a minute remaining, and then yeah, started landing that heavy ground and pound that was connecting flush on the jaw as well. Here we go. Yeah. That Left hand, straight left hand, snaps the head back of the Zimi. That body kick again. It, and the, doing that all night, working behind the kicks was Tala Jamil. And hard fought, hard fought, hard fought win for the fearless MMA man. And let's be honest, Zalame Zimi. That was your debut. You have nothing to hang your head about, young man. Nothing at all. Let's make this one well, ladies official. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest was brought to a close by TKO. Two minutes and 41 seconds into round number three. Let's hear it for your winner in the red corner, Talo Jamil.